Hello, welcome to another episode of Crypto Charts. I'm Fausto Botelho, broadcasting from Brazil. And today I want to tell you that this last week I have received a very prestigious invitation from my friend Rodolfo Andrians that runs LaBitConf. LaBitConf, it's a very prestigious and most important conference in Latin America. And uh, to speak on it, it's a really a great honor because they're very important people. But before I show you the site of the company, let me uh, come with me and watch this marvelous video that was made uh, by the people that runs LabitConf. Stay with me. It's less. It's it's just more than a, a minute. Shall we not terminate? Fuck. Here we go. First, there was singularity. Singularity became chaos and chaos became structure. Structure became cause. Cause became effect, and effect became relations. So God saw it was okay. Nah, I'm sorry, just kidding. Relations became trade. Trade brought debt, and debt became commodities. Commodities became gold. Gold brought banks, and banks created notes. And everyone was happy. Or that's what we thought. Notes became currency. Currency became fiat. And fiat became paper. Paper brought abuse. Abuse brought bubbles. And bubbles became empty. Empty became loss. Loss became chaos. And chaos became bailouts. End of the story. Oops. No. <laughs> Bailouts brought Bitcoin. Bitcoin removed paper. Bitcoin removed abuse. And Bitcoin brought blockchain. Blockchain restored trust. Trust restored hope. And hope became revolution. Revolution is understood at LaBitConf, the main Bitcoin and blockchain conference in Latin America. Well, didn't I tell you? Word scene, isn't it? Well, uh, let me get into the site now and show you that uh, LabitConf is, as we said, this uh, unique conference in Latin American world. You know why? Because it is the most anticipated meeting for all players in the region that being non-profit. I didn't know that until recent. Actually, I have attended LabitConf uh, in 2017 in uh, Bogota. So as being non-profit, it, it ensures a curator of non-commercial content. Also, thanks to its trajectory and prestige, it allows us to invite the most relevant speakers from the ecosystem to transmit the keys of this revolution and show the roadmap of the next documentary that, that sorry, developments that will change the industry. So, it's uh, going to be in Montevideo uh, on the next 12 and 13 of December. And maybe we'll meet there. That's it. So now let's go into the charts. And I want to show you first the S&P to start with. Well, the S&P has broken this uh, so far it's broken this uh, resistance as we said last week and but now it is uh, drifting away so uh, a drift pattern uh, means that the market is losing this strength is losing force the, the the strength of this upward movement and it's a reversal pattern it has uh, happened uh, so many all the time like this one here and this one here uh, so but the the important thing that's happening uh, that we should keep the 
the yellow light on is that the other indexes are not following the S&P and I'm, I'm going to show you <clears throat> the uh, especially the transportation index look at this you know uh, the economy runs whenever the economy runs booms up transport the uh, goods have to move and that in reinforces the uh, railroad and the transportation companies when that doesn't happen something is not going uh, very good and that's what we're seeing here in the transportation index that top that made a top in 2018 here and so far now we're testing we were testing this uh, resistance level and the market just reversed over here so that's not signing below the breakout of the s p also the nasdaq let's take a look at the nasdaq nasdaq is actually one of the forces that uh, driven these uh, these upward movement but it's also uh, is also going sideways uh, drifting in the direction of the movement indicating that we are probably going to have a correction in the near future meaning next days maybe or or some uh, so uh, we'll have to wait and see if the s p is really going to confirm that to those of you that followed my advice to stay out i don't think it's already time for you to jump in the market just because it broke the the resistance level very important resistance level and that's because uh, i think <clears throat> The S&P is still in the gravity force, within the gravity force of the gravity force, of course, of that resistance uh, area. So I think it's uh, worth waiting a little bit more to see what is going to happen. Also, gold and oil are not signing below the upward movement of uh, well, gold is not falling heavy and and uh oil is also not uh, going up uh following because well yes sure of course let's take a look at the charts gold and oil which are right here and these we're seeing the oil prices here wti no uh yeah they're they're in the middle of this accumulation here but they're not just uh, you know breaking resistance levels or or something or telling us that there is a economic expansion coming on the contrary they're, they're, they're neutral uh, gold uh, oil is neutral let's take a look at gold which is right here uh, well I've uh, already analyzed gold here in the channel and my analysis is that this is a, a reversal ha inverted head and shoulders pattern and that projects an objective of uh, 1800 which uh, i think is going to be achieved the market has uh, so far uh, broken this well that's not even a a trustful support line but yeah or a break the support level and i think uh, we're probably going to be calling this as a abc of the upward movement and uh, as you see uh, gold is is not falling it, it it felt but it's it's holding on and uh, this here right after the market breaked this support level at 1460 uh, reminds me of uh, a very good possibility of a reversal right over here so as i said uh, we're not gold is not signing below the the upward movement of the s p so let's move to the cryptos and and to begin with bitcoin of course and that's the chart of bitcoin uh well the analysis is basically the same i think the most important thing that we have to consider is that this is a uh is a uh this is a corrective wave that's an impulsive wave that's a corrective wave 
And to analyze that, we, as we did last week, we go to the daily chart and we see that this is an impulsive wave making an A wave. This is a, this is a descending triangle that it's by nature a corrective wave and this is a, a impulsive wave. So impulsive, corrective, impulsive, that makes an ABC and then in an ABC it's a corrective wave, right? So th these being a corrective wave, uh, I have to assume that we're, uh, we have uh, witnessed the initiation, uh, the beginning of another impulsive wave. What kind of impulsive wave? Well, kind of like the uh, all the impulsive waves that Bitcoin has had so far in the past. Uh, like this one here from 2011 to 2013 and like this one here from 2015 to 2017. Now, where, whereabouts should we expect Bitcoin to go? Well, uh, uh, I think we can expect it to repeat the last portion of what I'm calling wave three here, which would take it to 60 some thousand dollars, or we could expect it, it to repeat what it did, what it did in wave three, uh, which would take it to 316, $20,000, $320,000, yes. Or we could expect it, it to repeat what it has done in wave one, which would mean that it would could go as far as seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Now, on the uh, median to uh, median turn to short term, this um, downtrend, which I have uh, imprisoned in these. Uh, in this channel here, I think uh, uh, it's going to be called as a corrective wave, and I think we're uh, about to get ready to break this resistance level here because after having an uh, an upward movement here, the market is is going sideways. So I think this is an accumulation pattern or a pattern that will continue its previous movement. Or if you want, you may call it a, a flag or a sort of a triangle or whatever. But I think this, this is going to uh, result in the breaking of this resistance trend line. And whenever that happens, the market should put another, another upward movement compared to this uh, last one here, meaning that it would take the, the prices to this next resistance level that is around 12,000. And for the market to just pass by and, and go test its uh, last stop at 14,000, I think it's very easy. So that being said, uh, I am, of course, very bullish in Bitcoin. I am still very bullish in Bitcoin, uh, but I have, a, I have some news. I, I think by what we're seeing and by the actions that we're, uh, we're, we have taken, we have so far recommended four altcoins uh, we have made issued calls in four uh, altcoins i'm going to be sh uh, i'm going to show you here uh it's been a while already some days so no 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 this uh where, where are you here so so far we have recommended binance coin uh which broke this resistance level and then broke this, uh, sorry, it broke this resistance trend level, and then it broke this resistance uh, level here. Whenever it broke, uh, that was day before yesterday, we shoot the call. The objective is uh, 0 0.00345, 345, look at that. Yeah. Um, and the next one is uh, NEO. We've recommended NEO whenever it broke this resistance level here because we understood that that could eventually force it to come to this next resistance level which is at the 0 0.0017 uh, level uh, so far in this uh, position we have changed our stop one once twice three times already and we're uh, already in a very good profit situation. Uh, this stop is uh, uh, guaranteeing 6.9% uh, profit. 
Well, Fausto, does that mean that whoever took this position is, has so far made 6.9%? No. That's a, uh, a question that we have been receiving, and I want to clarify that. Uh, our dealer method of trading the markets uh, states that the most important thing that you, I, everybody, every trader should do is to regulate the size of its position in order to lose always the same amount of its capital. Which means, and how much is that amount? Well, if you risk 1% per trade, you're going uh, aggressively towards uh, a, a goal of getting a 4% result a month. And if you get four, a 4% result a month, you're going to be much more successful than Mr. Warren Buffett and Mr. George Soros. So that's the most that you could ask. You know, how about doubling what Warren Buffett uh, makes uh, yearly? That's what you do when you, when you go after 4% a month. To make 4% a month, well, I'm not, of course, I'm not saying that you're going to make, that it's easy to make. No, it's not. We're, we pretend to help people to achieve their goals, but basically, especially, uh, first of all, to help people protect their capital. The most important thing for you is to protect your capital. The market is an infinite flow of opportunities that passes by us every, every moment, every day. You're going to have success if you obey some rules, if you have discipline, but you have to be alive to enjoy that success. That's the important thing. So what we what we suggest to our students that uh, attend to our course by the way if you live here in brazil i'm going to be uh, not this weekend next weekend the 23rd i'm going to be in curitiba so if you're around come and see subscribe to, uh, uh, to the course it's going to be three days that i'm going to be uh, talking about technical analysis and this method so the idea is that you risk only 1% of your capital in every trade that you do. So whenever we issue a call, you should make a very simple calculation to determine what amount of your capital you're going to invest in that trade. And the, the, uh, the calculation is very easy. You're going to pick your capital. Let's suppose you have uh, two Bitcoins or one Bitcoin to make it easier. Suppose the stop that we suggest that you place in the position, because, you know, stops sometimes are 5% away from your entry price, sometimes are 10% away, sometimes are 12% away, sometimes are 8.7% away from your entry price, right? So the idea is that you pick your capital, divide by the percent a distance of your stop like for instance let's suppose your stop is 10 percent away for, from your entry price so you pick one bitcoin divide by 10 percent away and multiply but by whatever percentage of your capital you want to lose what is the percentage of your capital you want to risk in that position you will eventually lose if the original stop is touched which will mean that 10 divided by, uh, by, by 1% divided by 10 is 0.1% multiplied by 1% that you want to lose, it's 0.1%, which means you're going to put 0.1% of your capital in that position. Meaning, sorry, you're going to put 1% of, uh, of your capital in, so you're going to, Pick one Bitcoin, divide by 10 is 0.1, multiplied by 1, 
is 0.1. You're going to put 0.1, per, uh, point, not percent, you're going to put 0.1 Bitcoin in that position, which is 10% of your capital of one Bitcoin, right? So that's the calculation. Take your capital in Bitcoins, divide by the percent distance and multiply by, by whatever you want, you, you want to risk, okay? Eventually, you, you're going to have to divide one Bitcoin by 8.7 and multiply by 1%. And then instead of putting 10% of your capital, you're going to be putting 12%, 13%. Sometimes if the stop is at 5%, uh, is 5% away, you'll be able to put 50% of your capital in, in that position and, and so on. If the stop is 5% and you have uh, defined that you're going to lose only 1% of your capital and so on. So, uh, but coming back to our uh, positions here, uh, so far, uh, the position, uh, well, you see, this position, the, the original stop was 7.1%. So uh, you would have placed some, let me do the accounting here. Seven, let's say it was 7% uh, away, right? So you pick one Bitcoin, seven divided, and one multiplied, you would put 0.14 uh, Bitcoins in that position. And that means you would then risk 1% uh, of your capital because if you would lose 10% of 0.14 Bitcoins, you would then lose 0.014 Bitcoins, which happens to be 1% of your capital of one Bitcoin. And by doing that, whenever you're, uh, whenever you lose in your position, you just don't care you know it's just like if you're in the boxing ring and you are hit by a jab i mean you can take as many jabs as as, uh, as you uh, the uh, the oppositor hits you but you can't you know get yourself a big punch and, and and get knocked down that's the idea so back to the business here uh to the charts let's say uh, the next one is that uh, we've recommended so far is ontology and why is that? Because ontology has just, uh, well, it made a accumulation that resembles a, that resembled a reversal, a head and shoulders, inverted head and shoulders reversal. And that happened after it had uh, broken this resistance trend line here. And then it accumulated in what we understood was a flag or a pennant and we entered the position, we recommended the position whenever it was moving out of this flag. And finally, the next one is uh, IOS token, which uh, we have also recommended because it broke this resistance trend level and also flagged up. So now let's take a look in the eight cryptos that we're keeping an eye on. First one is uh, Augur. So Augur has made this uh accumulation that resembles a a reversal also a head and shoulders reversal then it broke this resistance level and that is now supporting it made a sort of a pullback to to this resistance level and then it went up uh we didn't want it to buy in here because it was testing a resistance level here to so we waited and uh, we're seeing uh, how this accumulation is going to evolve. Uh, whenever we keep an eye on a, on a coin, we, we do it in the hourly chart. So we're keeping an eye now in this chart and we're probably going to be recommending if we see a good breakout of this uh, resistance trend level here in our. Next one is Bitcoin Cash because Bitcoin Cash is testing its all times low and it test once twice and then it gave us a bear trap here and now it's testing this resistance level accumulating in what we understand 
uh, could be called in the future as a ascending triangle. Look at this. Tops in uh, technically the same level and higher bottoms, meaning that the, the, the buyers are going each time more ferocious uh, towards the price while the sellers are selling around here 0 0.033 or 0 0.0327 uh, so we're keeping an eye on on bitcoin cash whenever it breaks this resistance here we're probably going to be recommending it eos well is it is this a a, uh, a symmetrical triangle or is it what we're expecting it to be called in the future an inverted head and shoulders if it is an inverted head and shoulders then it projects this objective which is 60,000 satoshis and that would mean that if we're eventually this uh, this uh, analysis is eventually right and it would be if the market breaks this resistance that it's testing now which is the 40 40,000 satoshi level um, we have an objective of uh, 60,000 Satoshi, as I said, and that would mean an upward, move, uh, upward movement of around 50%, not bad, right? So that's why we're keeping an eye on EOS. Uh, next one is ICON. So uh, what's ICON doing? Well, there's this huge downtrend here that made the market from the top, from the, the highs uh, fall 98% maybe has fallen a little bit more than it should and maybe it will correct a little bit back to this level here 5000 satoshis who know who knows that would be 161 percent upward movement but now the market is testing this resistance level and uh we are still to know whether we're going to be calling this accumulation as a descending triangle or if we're just going to you know delete the support level and call it double bottom or whatever and that's gonna happen if this resistance trend line is uh, broken and if the market just oh, I'm sorry <clears throat> bless me uh, well if the market just comes and reaches this uh, resistance long-term trend line uh, that's a 40% upward movement is still not bad 30 39 40% upward movement. next one is maker uh, what's happening to maker well it's um, it's making a button it's just made a button and it went up and it's uh, it don't have too much liquidity as you can see in the chart but it's flagging up now so for you that like uh, strong emotions maybe that's something for you to put a little bit in your portfolio right and uh next one is quantum that uh well this is not a very uh well graded uh, resistance trend level but uh, i think we could count three points to three points here that touched the line so uh i'll have to wait for it to break this uh, resistance here at twenty-eight thousand satoshis but uh, maybe it will flag up here and then I think whenever it breaks uh, this resistance depending on what it does before or below the resistance it might be a good a good catch for our portfolio too stellar so uh, stellar broke this resistance trend line that's a better resistance trend line and we have to consider that uh, it broke its all-time lows and it didn't carry through it came back producing a bear trap and now it is accumulating in this um, big i don't know what here maybe a triangle uh, but we just had a reversal in whenever the market broke this um, probable resistance uh, level here and uh, that's not good so uh, let's wait and see what what's going to happen here if it's going to evolve to a, a more palatable or more recognizable let's say um, accumulation here and then we'll see what we do but out of the uh, 60 or 70 um, altcoins that we follow 
Uh, these are the ones. Are these the ones? Let me just take a look here. I think the last one is Stellar. Now I still have V Chain. Yeah, that's the last one. Well, V Chain went up like hell because it's a very low uh, uh, price. It reached 30 some Satoshis, only 30 some Satoshis, and then it's back now to 70 Satoshis. And we've, we've been waiting for it to to accumulate to give us a, a decent flag but it didn't so far it didn't it just went uh, wildly uh, from the first uh, upward movement indication which was this reversal here in the last uh, bottom it went up like 75 percent well maybe uh, that's the one so we we're keeping an eye on it okay thank you for watching the video and um i'll see you next time oh if you're not a subscriber please subscribe to this channel click the bell to be advised of next videos and i'll see you next time maybe in montevideo in december or maybe in our course in curitiba now ciao